Welcome back to a little game called Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now, there's one of the things that I, I never really did or checked out when it came out, and this came out a long time ago. But essentially, there's a Bugs DLC. Adds a ton of stuff. Hey, that's pretty good. Now, today's idea for this episode of Tabs, and basically what we're doing is we're doing community ideas for future Tabs videos. So leave your ideas, they can be a challenge, a tournament idea, anything. Leave them below, and if you see one that you're like, man, that would make a great video, make sure to give it an upload. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a tournament, but there's a catch. What happens if you give every unit wings? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh boy, here I go killing again. This is going to be pretty funny and I think really, really derpy. Like, for example, what happens when you get a shield guy versus a club dude, right? I kind of expect Mr. Club Boy to win, but you just never know. Tabs is random. Now, they're not the best at flying, I've noticed. It's not like they're the Cupid or the Valkyrie and they're just designed to fight. Okay, and Mr. Club Guy wins. But like, what happens if instead of the shield guy, since club guy won, he's gonna keep going. <laughs> I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. <gasps> oh, and of course he gets hit in the knee with a flying spear and he's dead. But what about a flying guy who throws rocks? Are <laughs> they both missed? Are you kidding me? These guys, someone should have sent them to accuracy school. Little, little boot camp. Uh-oh. Spear looked like it may have spawned just a tad bit earlier. Oh, he's winding up. He's throwing it. Oh, Mr. Rock guy. Oh, that's on target. Right yeah. in your stomach. Oh, man. That would have spilled his lunch out all over the battlefield. But what does a bone mage do? We got a spear thrower. Now, they're not the most even dollars. Normally, we equalize this. But I, I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, God. Okay, that still worked. But what if we try to... Even it out, right, in our tournament and try to make it as equitable as possible. Two spears, he dodges them both and he kills them. Okay. Now, this is the one I've kind of been the most curious about. But before we do that, to see what a mammoth looks like with wings, we're going to have a chieftain. Now, I think, yeah, <laughs> the chieftain just flies right over it. Oh, it flies right over the enemy, too. <laughs> and then he's swinging, but I feel like he should win. The bone mage, <laughs> he was riding a hammer like a horse. He, he was like, I've got an imaginary pegasus. It's like when you're a kid and you ride a broom and pretend you're like a witch or I guess like Harry Potter or something. Do people even play outside with brooms anymore? Probably not. There's actually like Harry Potter video games where you can do Quidditch and stuff, I would imagine. Is there any good Quidditch games out? Oh my God, this is adorable. A giant woolly man. <laughs> okay. Big old headbutt. But who wins? Because... The woolly mammoth, one of his biggest things is he stomps on the ground and creates little earthquakes and tremors. And then what it actually does, and people not may not always notice this, is it makes people nauseous and they throw up and they pass out and that's actually how they lose to the mammoth's tremor ability, right? I mean, that's the totally accurate way of doing it. Okay, I think what we're gonna do, blue victory, are you kidding me? This actually does change it. What if you did this, right? I want I want to show you just how amazing and dynamic this is. How it totally changes the game. Who wins now? I mean, the Woolly Mammoth should win pretty easily. See, look. Stompy, stomp, stomp. Doing damage. Knocking him over. And he wins. Right? This changes everything. So, out of the first faction, we have our victor. And each champion of each faction then goes on to the final round. All right, a flying halfling versus a flying man with a pitchfork. My money is on pitchfork. Oh God. But the hobbits are pretty nimble. And now Mr. Pitchfork can't get his pitchfork on the hobbit. Oh, if they both fell in the water, I guess it'd, it'd be determined like who died first. Dude, look at how good the hobbit is at flying. He's a natural. It's like why everybody else is like a bird. Like, the hobbit's just like a bumblebee. Fly like- Okay, and he's dead. Well, that's a little sad. But, if we normalize the dollars, this is a totally accurate tournament, right? We're kind of making up the rules as we go. And that's half the fun, though. Alright, little hobbits. Okay, one hobbit's down. I think it's clear that Pitchfork guy just wrecks. But you know what would be interesting is, is a scarecrow throwing out birds. I think the scarecrow might be super dangerous. 
Oh god. So in that one, the Hobbit one, who do we decide to go on? Hobbits, because they're more fun. You're right. <laughs> totally hanging tournaments. The rules are set in stone. But we got like a stone chainsaw, so we can write whatever we want. And the Hobbits win again. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Potion seller with wings. Now he's just kind of chilling there on the ground. That's weird. Why isn't he flying? But he can't hit with his potions. Okay. I stand fully corrected. These guys are not able to fly downwards? It's like one of those games where like you don't know how to control the elevator on an airplane. So you can't like go up or down. You just, so then like you got your ailerons and you're like, well, if I tip my wing over this way, I'll start going down. Reminds me of those playing games where like when you get your elevator shot out, you have to use ailerons. Okay, the hobbits are flying off happily. Not so happy. What if we normalize the price? I wish we had a speed up button. Yeah, for whatever reason, I feel like this guy's cheating, man. You are cheating! You don't even have big googly eyes, you just have little googly eyes. Yeah, they, the hobbits don't know what to do with the target that doesn't actually fly. Be kind of cool, though, if there was a system where, like, if you're an archer and you shot a wing, you didn't kill the unit, but, like, they can't fly. Well, I think Potion Seller definitely won that one. Flying Harvester. This should be interesting. It's all a matter of can you account for the fact that Ooh. he's not flying. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. All right, good. We eliminated the annoying Potion Seller. <laughs> a plur to plur plur. <laughs> Recognize that voice? Look at this, man. The wheelbarrow just like breaks. But every individual unit has wings. Oh my god. One throws apples, but the apple thrower's dead. Big Force Gump Dirt Guy. To purr. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. This guy had a pitchfork. He just stabbed him through the neck. Oh my god. Okay, so wheelbarrow. Now wheelbarrow versus scarecrow. Who wins? The wheelbarrow breaks three different units. There's lots of crows out there, but I think they could bum rush him and they threw an apple and hit him in the head. Oh my god. I didn't... Dude, the Viking warship is gonna be incredibly, incredibly good, I think. I'm so curious about that that I just kind of want to skip to the Vikings. Because I want to see this Viking warship in action. Head butter versus a flying frosty archer. My money's on frosty boy archer. Once again, range units kind of stick close to the ground. I don't know why. I mean, it's not a flying DLC. It's a bug as DLC. So this definitely seems like a bug to me. Eulalia. Dude, he, he sounded Eulalia. That's what they say in Redwall books, man. I used to read those as a kid. All right, I, I put my money on the archer, but I'm not so sure because he can't seem to hit anything he aims at. All right. Is the money equal? No. Maybe we'll speed it up. Oh, he missed him. It looked like he fired and shot right between the legs. Oh, they got so close. I think they're hitting each other, actually. I'm just so sick of watching these guys fail. <laughs> totally accurate flying units. Hit him in the face. Wait, we lost one. That was friendly fire. 11 years later. Man, I just want a cheeseburger right now. What happens? Like, I think the archer's not even getting close. <laughs> And the headbutter has to hit him with his head. <laughs> this, this is so dumb. Oh my god. But what happens if we do this? Now, if there's a lot, do any of them actually shoot and hit? Oh, we actually got a few. Oh, yeah. The archers are actually doing really good. So I think it's clear that the archers could hit and would hit. And the red guys just can't. Because they can't get their heads down low enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. Now, this guy's got a shield and a swinging axe. And he's already frozen, though. Oh, is that a second arrow he hit? Or did it go through him? He's slowly dropping down. Oh, come on. I hate range units with wings. They're so bad. Okay. You know what? You're disqualified, Archer. Berserker versus Brawler. Oh, wow. Berserker's really nimble but he can't hit why is this the way it is <laughs> this is so dumb <laughs> who won red oh okay berserker died now a valkyrie who actually has wings do you get a second pair of wings oh of course you do of course you get a second pair of wings man can you imagine artemis with wings Blue victory. Okay, the Valkyrie obviously won. But here's where it's gonna get interesting. Because, remember, 
every unit has these wings. So these guys are the giant oars. Oh. <laughs> we didn't even get to see it because the Valkyrie just ran into the ship and exploded. <laughs> and the red team won. Okay. A flying Jarl versus big ship. Throw They throw the ship, right? And... Where did it go? Where... What the heck? Where did the ship go? What just happened? I gotta see that again, actually. I feel like the ship disappeared? Oh, maybe they flung it over me and I didn't look in the right spot. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think we just saw some UFOs. Dude, Tabs needs an alien UFO faction, led by Elon Musk from the future. Okay, Viking warship. I'm noticing a trend here. Multiple entity units. So now we got the medieval faction. A bard? Well, I think we know what's gonna happen here. Dude, I gotta say, like, this just looks awesome. A flying knight looks so... Like, legit, man. You know what? You're disqualified. You're running from the battle. And... Oh, right! Man, that's too bad. The coolest looking guy. Healer can't do anything. Well, this guy's got a bigger shield. It's like they're fighting for heaven, you know? Like they're angels. Ooh! Okay, now a flying catapult? We haven't dealt with siege equipment yet. Oh my god. Oh! This is amazing! Look at the catapult! <laughs> the catapult has wings! <laughs> okay, king versus the knight. I wonder what a flying ballista will be like. I wish you could have a mode where there's a free-for-all. That one went pretty straightforward. Flying spear or flying shield? Well, uh, I'm betting the spear. Hit him with the pointy end. Oh, he got blocked. And now he can't get his spear up. And he's getting bullied. Wow. Okay. Hoplite. Well, this guy's got a shield and a spear. You only have a shield. And a Roman one at that. I guess you're technically ancient faction, but it would have been cool to have, like, Romans and Greeks. Because then you would have gotten the mythology. Granted, there's a lot of overlap. Okay. Here's gonna be a question. Does this snake have wings? If it has wings, that's A, terrifying. Ooh, he bit him in the knee? No, the snakes do not have wings. Therefore, I think, is the snake attacking his own guy? I don't know, man. All right, once again, we have the range conundrum. Flying ballistas, but in this case, see, the snake, the snake should have wings. Here's a ballista. Is that two pair of wings? On the ballista, no, just one. I don't know if he's going to be accurate. <laughs> he's not accurate at all. This is the best idea ever, Bex. Thank you for this, man. This is just making my weekend. All right, flying minotaur. That looks pretty dangerous. You know how, like, the medieval knights look like angels? This guy looks like a freaking demon boy. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, but I, I can't imagine Hoplite winning this. Punch to the face. All right, flying minotaur versus flying Zeus. It really depends on how good lightning is in the air. Pretty good. Okay, I think Zeus might win. He did the little range cheat where you jump down to the ground and melee guys just derp over you. Come on, Minotaur. The Beastman DLC just came out for Warhammer 2. Torox is super OP, come on. All right, this is not the Torox that we're used to. And he's dead, Zeus wins. Zeus, you're a cheater. Now we've already done the Vikings. Now I think what we'll do is we'll keep the tournament within the classic factions. We'll go to Dynasty, like the starter factions. Or was Dynasty kind of like an expansion? Man, it's been so long. Okay, Flying Firework Archer versus Flying Samurai, who can deflect those things. Oh, he might actually deflect them down? And they might blow up the guy. <laughs> Ranged exception. Otherwise, we'd be sitting here for literal years. Money's on the guy with the bigger stick. <laughs> Look at how big- oh man, yeah, he's just bullying him. And the samurai is dead. Although his sword would have flown and maybe cut the guy's wing, he could have fallen in that hole. If this game had damage models. Oh, money's definitely on the ninja. Dude, a flying ninja could be super devastating. Look at that. The momentum from the shuriken is actually keeps the monk backwards. <laughs> oh, we got a multiple unit entity again. Everybody's got wings. <laughs> but they hold on to it. Okay, you're actually just going to be sitting ducks, aren't you? Yeah. And then you fly to your death. <laughs> flying ninja, amazing. Now a flying hawacha? Oh yeah, of course you don't. No, he won. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, 
I thought the ninja could win like a lot of stuff. Now Monkey King should win. Unless he gets Hawacha. <laughs> We're flying Hawacha. Okay. So now what we gotta do is we gotta go to the plane of champions, the ancient sandbox, and have all the victors who won. So it's the flying chieftain versus the wheelbarrow. Who wins here? I think wheelbarrow guy should win. The apple thrower's down there throwing apple. Chieftain just slaughtered them and took an apple to his spine. It sort of almost breaks the ranged exception, but we're gonna allow it. Now we got medieval. Now medieval was the king and ancient was Zeus. Yeah, that just looks like a lot of lightning bolts. He's got a lightning bolt beard. However, his sword is so big, I think one more hit and he could kill Zeus. <laughs> and that's just what happened. The king kills Zeus. These are the three victors. And I'm thinking since the king is only one unit, these two multiple entity units have to fight themselves and the victor goes on to fight the king. Why the king? Well, because he's the king and he's got the coolest voice in the game. <laughs> All right, Mr. Wheelbarrow. Now, if you guys want to see more of these crazy, like, bug tournaments, let me know. So the wheelbarrow has already fallen apart, and Mr. Forrest Gump Derp is flying in there to fight some Viking fisticuffs. But the apple thrower dude, I think, is just really good. Until he takes a paddle to the face. All right, so the Vikings just have, like, a lot more units, and they end up winning. So now they got to fight the king himself. Who is the tournament of the classic factions and tabs in the wing tournament? I think the king is. Depends if the ship lands on him. Oh, God. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so those guys, like, don't die because they fly and they don't hit the ground with maximum velocity and break all their bones. And now the king could kill all three of them in one swipe, but he's probably going to get at least one or two. Oh, he got two, but he didn't get the first one. And who's the best? Oh yeah, right there. The big guy king. <laughs> oh, well, I just want to say thank you for this idea for a tabs video. Leave your ideas for the next one in the comments below. If you see some really good ideas, give them up votes so they're more likely to be chosen in the next one. Thanks for watching another episode of Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. And I'll see you in the next one.